Now, this is honestly the best time of the year to grab these up. There's tons of value in these as well. It's something that once or twice a year we really rake out on. Hey, it's done. Today we're going to talk about one of those types of items that only comes around a couple times a year. Now, I'm talking today about college textbooks. Now, summertime is coming up. The session that's going on in every campus around the country is going to be ending in a couple of weeks at the very, very most. And what happens at the end of the season when they're going away for summer a lot of the teachers who aren't going to be teaching summer school, there's a lot less classes during summer class, usually, depending on where you're at, they'll get rid of books. And the teachers will be dumping off all the old books many, many times. They're given new ones every time around if they want them from the book manufacturers. The students as well will be getting rid of the ones that they can't sell back and things like that. So if you know what time this happens, you pay attention to it, you can rake out. Around here, some of the thrift stores near some of the campuses have some really horrendously good books there. Some of the smaller ones, some of the secondhand stores as well. We have always done phenomenally well with most all of the textbooks we get. Now, I'm alumni at our university out here. I keep it because it gets me onto the campus. And we've gotten a ton of valuable books for free on giveaway tables and things like that at the end of this term here. It's something that if you know where to look for it, you know how it works, you might even know some teachers who have some material to get rid of at the end of this school year too. Something to think about. As well, as I said, with thrift stores and things like that, you're going to find them as well. There's something that's very easy to tell if it's worth the value. Sometimes there's other places to sell them at besides eBay and Amazon as well. I've sold on Chegg for probably 14 plus years. Sometimes Chegg will buy stuff that anywhere else won't even get you 5 or 10 bucks. It just depends on the demand. They're national, so they're all over the place. They know all the little markets and stuff like that because that's all they gear their stuff for, exactly where the books are going to be used, colleges and campuses. Now, community colleges are just as good. Now, there is one big exception for that rule with those. If, let's say, some of the books that you find are specifically only for one community college and one community college alone, you may not be able to sell them very well because books for college and things like that many times are only good for a couple of years. A new edition will come out, and then all the old editions won't be buyable for these places. With Chegg, C-H-E-G-G, -G, They'll just buy them straight out from you. You don't have to worry about selling them. You may get less money, but it's quick money. You can just throw them in a box, and you can get the label to send them to them as well straight from them. So it's a quick, easy process all the way around. You just throw them in a box from there and mail them off, and you're done. Again, you won't get as much money, but in some cases, some of the lower value books, we've gotten more for them from Chegg than I have from some of the other sources now. You can look them up on eBay. You can look them up on Amazon and see where they rank. Teachers' editions do extremely well. Professors' teachers' editions. If it has what's called a code, some of the books you'll see will say code. Chances are the code in your book is no good. Someone probably used it if the book isn't sealed in cellophane. So make sure that you list that, that the code was probably used. If it's supposed to have extra material like a CD-ROM or a disc, it's not complete without that, and a student probably isn't going to want it anywhere near as much because they would then have to go out and buy the CD. Many times that CD or whatever type of disc it is, DVD, ROM, or whatever, has the same thing, the book on it. And that's usually what most people use these days in college. Now, a great thing with them is they all have barcodes. And every site, you can scan them with the barcode scanner on your phone, eBay, Amazon, and even Chegg, and instantly see a value on them. Just like that. No big deal whatsoever. So they're easy to look up across the board. On Chegg and some of the other places, you can find the uh, professor editions priced in there as well. 
So I always, always, always check them out and see which site gives you or which site you would get the most out of them. If you need the money right away, Chegg may be your source because you just sell them. You're done, end of story, nothing else to worry about with that. And as I said earlier, you have to make sure that the books are sold right away. You never hold on to college textbooks at all. The longer you hold on to them, the less they will be worth. If it's the end of the run for a college textbook as well, meaning that they're not going to be using it next year, the value plummets to just a couple dollars if they'll even want it. Around here, you can even run into these at pawn shops, believe it or not. A nice set of medical uh, books here can go for some pretty decent money if you had to buy them new. So pawn shops will take them. So there is a chance to find them at places like that. Secondhand stores, consignment places, a little uppity boutique sometimes has stuff like this on the side. Now there are some as well that won't have a barcode on the bottom, like some of the workbooks and things along that line. Those are just fine, even if they don't have it. Um, chemistry classes, some of the notation pages and, and tablets and things like that. Even with some missing from it, those can still sell because they cost a little bit of money. 15, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks for a workbook for a chemistry class or some of the higher math classes. Many times they'll have to have special types of paper, tablets, or something like that. So all of that stuff can be doable. It all can sell extremely well. You just got to pay attention. This is like thinking outside the box. Now, having graduated from the college here, we're alumni, me and the wife. So we're on campus. I have kids that still are there for one more year for one of them. Um, so I'm on campus quite often. I know some professors, so I can usually find out where is the best place to get stuff. Um, things like that happen around in most campuses. They'll clean out their rooms, as I said. You've got a good two or three weeks before the next session starts summer school. Summer school is short, so if the book's still a pretty decent book, it will be fine for the fall session of college as well. Again, as I said, some of these drop off the map and no one wants them anymore, so just be careful. Look them up. If they're still running a very high dollar, chances are you've got at least one or two sessions at college before they're defunct and basically worthless. But again, list them right away. The better the condition, the better you're going to get out of them. You know how the ratings work on Amazon. At least I hope you do. A books they will sell on as well, but Amazon is usually one of the better sources. Your competition with these are the online versions of the same book. Personally, a lot of students like to have this because they can take it with them if there's no power or no anything else or they forget it or they can highlight it easier. I'm a old school. I like to have a book for studying with school and classes, so that's a plus. People still do like it that way because you can actually hold it. You can sit somewhere and it's not going to strain your eye as much. So anyway, that's about it. Just a touch on this. This is the best time to pick them up right now of all year. Again, summer school, cleaning out the offices. This stuff does show up. Students getting rid of them. Graduation is here in just about three or four weeks as well. So after graduation, there's a bunch of stuff that shows up around here. Gowns, all of the stuff related to colleges, campuses, and graduation. All that stuff is hot going in through June right now. But that's about it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. My favorite fancy food is fancy pink grapefruit. Announcing new fancy fruits from Lifesavers. This thing tastes exactly like a fancy fruit apple Lifesaver. I wonder what it's called. Fancy fruits, the candy that doesn't taste like candy. Tum 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 t
New fancy fruits taste more like real fruit than anything you ever popped in your mouth. Fancy fruits, you get more slices in a longer roll. Picked and packed by lifesavers.